cover crop guy. Uh, we're down by Remington, and we're here with Dan Sutton, who has a new new cover crop seeding technique. And Dan, um, um, we're underneath your machine here, and it, well, how tall are you? I'm 6'2". You're 6'2", and that's, the machine's about a little taller than that. Now, it, it's a, end of August, and you're starting to seed cover crop now with this thing. Aren't you knocking over corn and snapping it off? Um, you know, the corn's pretty tall. It can be 10 or 14 foot tall. Uh, what, what's your response to that? I have not found a field of corn yet that I have caused any damage in from breaking it off from it going underneath the machine. Uh, the only damage you find is when you turn on the ends, which is inevitable. You have a machine that has to turn. Uh, we have all-wheel steer, so uh, you make one track around on your on your ends. Uh, but going through the field, 12-foot uh, tall corn, I've never yet broke any over. I'm not going to say that it can't happen. Uh, certain varieties, certain times a year, high corn bore damage or something, so that situation might exist. I just have not seen it yet. All right, and, and I suppose if the field was super dry, like if you were trying to run it through it end of September, then that might be a little different story. Yes, it, it could be. Until we can actually run it and see uh, if it were to cause damage, of course, we can always pull out and leave. Mm -hmm. But I uh, really want to tr you know, try all those different scenarios and see what it does. And, and you said you had something hooked to the front um, that reduces that knocking down, and what is that called? Correct. This has uh, what Haggy calls their high, uh, uh, or high corn package. So in the front, uh, you'd see a series of PVC tubes that pushes the crop uh, forward that goes underneath the machine, and then it, so it just bends it forward, and then as it comes behind you, it just pops right back up again. Um, I've had you know guys ride along, agronomists, seed salesmen, uh, you name it, ride along, and none of them have ever seen uh, any damage from uh, any breaking or bending of the, of the stalks. And I suppose if the tassel was broken off, that might just help dry down a little quicker, get a little more air maybe? Yeah, it, it could. I think your corn would have to be pretty dry for it to cause any stock damage because, of course, the last part of your plant to dry down is usually the top part of the plant. So uh, I've never, like I said, never yet seen. There's a lot of flexibility in a corn plant, so I've never seen the problem yet.